Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. Power Guaranteed July 7 As a prince, hast thou power with God and with men, and hast prevailed. Genesis 32, 28 had not Jacob previously repented of his sin in obtaining the birthright by fraud, God would not have heard his prayer and mercifully preserved his life. So, in the time of trouble, if the people of God had unconfessed sins to appear before them while tortured with fear and anguish, they would be overwhelmed. Despair would cut off their faith, and they could not have confidence to plead with God for deliverance. But while they have a deep sense of their unworthiness, they will have no concealed wrongs to reveal. Their sins will have been blotted out by the atoning blood of Christ, and they cannot bring them to remembrance. All who endeavor to excuse or conceal their sins and permit them to remain upon the books of heaven unconfessed and unforgiven will be overcome by Satan. The more exalted their profession and the more honorable the possession which they hold, the more grievous is their course in the sight of God and the more certain the triumph of the great adversary. Yet Jacob's history is an assurance that God will not cast off those who have been betrayed into sin, but who have returned unto him with true repentance. It was by self-surrender and confiding faith that Jacob gained what he had failed to gain by conflict in his own strength. God thus taught his servant that divine power and grace alone could give him the blessing he craved. Thus it will be with those who live in the last days, as dangers surround them and despair seizes upon the soul, they must depend solely upon the merits of the atonement. None will ever perish while they do this. Jacob prevailed because he was persevering and determined. It is now that we are to learn this lesson of prevailing prayer and unyielding faith. The greatest victories of the Church of Christ or to the individual Christian are not those that are gained by talent or education, by wealth or the favor of men. They are these victories that are gained in the audience chamber with God when earnest agonizing faith lays hold upon the mighty arm of power.